Welcome to the American University of Nigeria. AUN is where students' dreams become Africa's future. So that um, it will give the students hands-on learning yeah, experience. I will choose AUN 10 times. <laughs> The university is not trying to train students to be job seekers. The university is trained students to be job creators. Partnership with a number of universities around the world. So we have what we call study abroad. Okay. Hey guys. Today we're going to one of the most prestigious private universities in Nigeria, here in Adamawa State, here in Yola, called American University in Nigeria and uh, someone will be taking us around showing us the place and uh, let us see so that you guys can also have an experience of what the place is like this is our first time we're going to be going into that university and we're, no, we're going to be seeing everything as you guys will be seeing it too welcome to the american university of nigeria this is uh, malam yusuf mohammed okay. so this is the main gate of the university okay so and uh um, as you're approaching the gate, you find that uh, the, to ensure the safety of each and every member of this community, um, first of all, you need to be scanned before scanned. you get okay. in. Okay. So you have to be checked. Okay. So this is security check. All right. Okay. Hello, sir. Come to Alhamdulillah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Everybody must be checked, checked. Okay. so that um, if we begin, the barrier will be lifted for him to uh, the access, um, access to the to the campus. Okay. So this is to ensure the, the the safety of um, each and every member of the uh, of the university. university. You see, the next turn is um, leading to uh, to the university clinic okay this turn to yes the, to the this right. is will lead to the university clinic okay and also uh, the maintenance department of the, the university of, of, of the university okay so but well, actually this thing is happening gradually yeah. because in 2007 uh, there were only five key buildings uh, in in, uh, in the university okay uh, this part of the university okay so and uh, but actually today the university is growing growing gently um, and gradually so then we have only um, we've started with a uh, five I mean, with three schools okay. uh, school of business and entrepreneurship um, school of information display. and technology okay. and uh, uh, school of information technology and computing and then school of art and sciences okay. but over time uh, the university is growing gradually and then um, this building that you are seeing, okay, to the uh, left. yeah, to the yeah. left is the uh, school of uh, engineering. It's a new school. Okay. So uh, basically, we have uh, three additional new schools: the school of engineering, yeah. school of law, yeah. and then uh, school of. Uh, uh, medical sciences. Okay. So, so how many departments do they have in the School of Engineering? Uh, I, I think uh, they're having about um, uh, five to six different engineering courses, and, and okay. that's about five departments I can say. Okay. So, um, crazy. Good okay. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. How are you? So, yeah, actually, um, they are trying to move in now. Okay. So they were actually operating temporarily in the School of Art and Sciences. Okay. But now uh, the site is complete, and any moment from now, um, they will move in. Move in. Okay. Yeah. I can see they so have a lot of yeah, large screen yeah, TVs. Oh, 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 yeah, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. We have a number of um, uh, enough classes and then okay. um, offices, uh, okay. labs, okay. And, uh, and so on and so forth. I think this is a design lab. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure that they, it is. Uh, um, uh, this is locked. Okay. So, um, 
They are not here. Um, well, actually, this is uh, during the these photos were taken during the um, uh, ribbon cutting day. Oh, okay. So, um, and this is uh, some of the key research um, the School of Engineering is currently um, undertaking. Undertaking. Okay. So uh, this is our anti abductions in emergency response system, okay. and also they are working on the digital. Micro strip patch antenna for 5G. 5G so, wow. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I learned uh, yesterday that uh, Fridays, most, there, there are no much lectures on Fridays. Or something. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, uh, actually, less lectures on, on Fridays. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, that does not suggest that there are no lectures. There are okay. lectures. Not but as uh, much as Not Monday as much as that. Uh, uh, okay. uh, you know, yeah. the reason for that, I, I, I'm saying it is because. I learned we won't find many students because there are fewer lectures on Fridays. We won't find yeah. many students in classes and all that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, actually, yes. Um, because actually, like, um, it uh, gives them a way to prepare for the mosque and also to prepare for their presentations. Sure. Okay. So, um, basically, you know, uh, the kind of teaching here at the, at the university mm -hmm. is that um, students make some number of presentations so okay. it counts the continuation assessments okay. and class presentations class participations it's, a, it's, a, it's a very very okay. fundamental here okay yeah okay. so and then if we move directly is the uh, new school of um, uh, of law okay that's the one there yeah oh, okay. um, uh, it's also under constructions but I mean okay. uh, they're doing kind of uh, finishing torches and um, but, but they, they begin to um, movement into the school of engineering and okay. began I mean the school of law yeah. has began so the school of law now is still under construction so yeah yeah um, they are, well, we, we, we hope to commissioning to commission the school of engineering uh, comes uh, the Founders Day, that is... Um, school of Engineering or School of Law? I mean, School of Law. law. Okay. Um, the Founders Day, that is uh, on the 25th of November this 26th year. Of no okay. Yeah. So... That's uh, like a month or so. Yeah, yeah. it's a month away. Okay. So, um, this is the School of uh, Law. Yeah. Wow. So, um, the... the the most critical component of School of Law yeah. is, is the mood court. Okay. So because learning here Come is hands-on. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, the, the courtroom, the mood courtroom. Okay. Yeah. So oh, it's just like a court itself, you know. So it's like where they come to like practice, you know. Y yes. Okay. Uh, so that uh, it will give the students hands-on learning yeah, experience. Okay. okay. So the, the judge is having her own. I mean, his own chamber. Chamber. Okay. Yeah. Um, Wow. Yeah. The seats look very comfortable. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'm telling you. They look like hold on guys, let me test the seat. Yeah. If I if we had this kind of seat in Epoma that I went to those days, I would have just <laughs> continued my masters immediately I finished it. <laughs> These are offices on this wing, and then okay. classes and the library um, okay. upstairs. All right. Yes. And I noticed that even uh, electricity is like constant here is it well um, almost when we say electricity i, I, I mean uh, power is non-negotiable here at the wow. university um, okay. we're trying as much as we could despite the fact that the energy has become something else yeah but then we're trying as much as possible to maintain electricity supply okay you know kind of two four seven oh okay. yeah so uh, if there is uh, going to be for any reason yeah um there is going to be a power outage then the entire university will be communicated that uh, from social time to oh. social time Wow. There will be a possibility in social part of the but university, university. Okay. there will be an outage. Otherwise, um, all the time, uh, you have uh, electricity. Oh, is it a library? Mm -hmm. This is a, yeah, the law library. The oh, library. Oh, interesting. This is, this is a refresh station. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, can, can I explain the feeling I got when I stepped in here? It's like as if you're going to freeze because the place is very cold. It's nice. So, have students started using this part no, now? No, so not, 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 not yet. Not yet. Okay. Right. So, right. yeah, they are moving. They are packing their things. Okay. Their things from 
But uh, well, lectures have started. I mean, they started uh, lectures here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sculpturally, but um, still, uh, some of the lectures are conducted in the uh, okay in the old place. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is a also a library. So this is an archival session. Okay, that's what's a reference session. Okay, so and basically these are all resource areas. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have uh, the lifts here. Yeah. Wow. How many floors is this? Sir? Yeah. Oh, no, it's two. Two. Sorry. Two. Okay. Okay, there is a, a walkway to the best. Yeah. Okay. This this actually protects when it's raining, so people can still walk. Yeah, you can walk yeah, into the okay. class and yeah. uh, without having problem. You know, Yola is a, uh, a very interesting place to be. Okay. Uh, more especially um, during the times of uh, March, April. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was told that the weather <laughs> then is way hotter than. <laughs> yeah, it's it way hotter now. than this. Yes. Oh, okay. Um. So. Uh, Working in the sun or be something else. Yes, okay. What's this building? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Oh, this is the student hub. I think we are going to move into the student hub. Student hub. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is a Aking Kekere Akong Administrative Building. Okay. So it houses the uh, some administrative offices. Okay. And then also um, uh, uh, students' offices. I mean, uh, out out of uh, out of class experience here yeah. at AUN, we we take it um, very very fundamental in the sense that um, uh, we like to our students to experience the out of uh, out of class, okay. and then to okay. have a very memorable you know time uh, okay. so you will see boots and each uh, clubs every single club ha has its own boot you can see okay. the art club the health law club society students activities students activities board activity. yeah okay. so basically here is um where um students if there is a small small events and they can organize it here okay uh, and then um a contact uh, if you wanted to be a member of any club, this is okay. uh, the place okay. where you can come and register okay. yourself. You know, it uh, provides a, a very conducive atmosphere for them to enjoy out-of-class activities. Okay. Uh, my name is Phoebe Alulua Phillips. Okay. I am a third-year student oh, okay. majoring in communication and multimedia design. Okay. Uh, my experience so far in Ian has been mind-blowing and wonderful. I've, ha I have, I've had a lot of um, opportunities yes. so, um, working with both students and staffs and okay. yes I will cool. choose AUN 10 times <laughs> 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 and yes the career club um, we are a club that helps our fellow students in focusing on their path like helping them grow helping them um, to study abroad and also um, to know what they want for their future. Okay. If they are not in the right path, then we guide them through. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. uh, just a quick one before I leave you. Uh, what would you say to people who have never been up north before, who, do, who seem to think, oh, don't go there, uh, this black place is scary, there's, there's no safety, what would you say? Um, to this is actually the safest place you can be here. And you've been here three years now. Yes. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it is the uh, school cafeteria, and when it uh, started its operation in 2007, you go yeah. and pay your cash and then uh, have your meal. Okay. So, and actually, the students discover that uh, uh, it is a. It is a Herculean task that you have to come with money almost okay. every day okay. and then software engineering students develop a software okay. that you can swap and then you know uh, so uh, so you, is it like you load up what you yeah what if, you have paid off yeah if you have your meal plan yeah it will be loaded with your id okay. card okay so if you come with your id card you can just, just swap and then okay so uh, it, can the, deduct it? it will be deducted oh, so wow um, it makes it uh, a life a little easier for yeah yeah, yeah. For, for them okay and uh, not only that they yeah. also uh, we have a democratic elected president of the student government association okay so and again the students say queuing for voting uh, um, it is tasking 
can, yeah. you know, they developed a software for electronic voting system. And since then, here, uh, all elections are conducted online, um, electronic voting system. Wow. So uh, it has been here for uh, quite a long time. And the software was developed by uh, our own students here. So can I, can I say something yes, before yes, we step in? Yes. Yes. These are what we should translate to the federal government and use electronic voting system to vote. <laughs> no, I mean, if it can be done here in yeah. a small ecosystem, maybe it can be expanded. It can be expanded. Can be and made. the students, are, I mean, some of them are now successful in the IT industry. They, wow. they have graduated a long time ago. Okay. Um, but uh, they said that they have the ability, you know, to you know expand it to uh to conduct the national election what are we waiting for yeah, well. <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> wow so they come they swap their card they get their meals i think wow okay so that's it yeah wow all right Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, what department are we going to now? Yeah, this is the library. Library. Okay. Yeah. The university library and the e-learning okay. center. Oh, if we say this is the library and the e-learning center. Yeah. And uh, they're working. They wanted to see a chain of computers. You okay. know where the e-learning resources are. Yeah. But actually, this is not the concept here. The concept here by the e-learning center is that. Um, the resources of the library, about 99.7% yeah. of the resources of the library yeah. is accessible online on the power of your palm top or oh. the power of your mobile okay. phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. So the, this is the, the library and um, uh, where the initial concept is um, for us to pack a lot of uh, books section by section. Okay. But then actually, um, we have a librarian yeah. that is very uh, brilliant, and they say that, okay, um, uh, the world is moving. Um, yeah. She works electronic. Yeah. And uh, it would make sense if you are buying 10 books, yeah. and when 10 students borrow the book, yeah, you, you don't, you're out of. You're out of. Yeah. yeah. yeah books so, library. but if you have an electronic copy, yeah. a thousand students can access it at the same time. Yeah. So, and, uh, and uh, apart from that, it would free a lot of spaces. Okay. And then it makes learning very convenient. So, okay. wherever our student is, will have access to the library resources. Okay. So, uh, so the library is like an online thing. Yes. Stand. Yes. So, so everyone can get what anywhere you are. Yeah. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, this is a uh, studios of communications and multimedia design. Okay. Uh, our radio studio is, is there. Oh, this is okay. a television studio here. Oh, okay. So this is a small TV studio. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is our CMD. Okay. Uh, photography and uh, videography studio. Okay. We do both photography and uh, film production here. Wow. We also do our. News and oh, okay. interviews. Okay. Uh, okay. Yesterday we were here. We were shooting our film editing and film and radio students are doing a production. Oh, radio yesterday. students. Okay. Okay. So presently they are shooting outdoor. Okay. Scenes, okay. So that's what we do. And we give out equipment to our students. Okay. Yes. Every equipment you see here. Yeah. Every student is entitled to handle any. Okay. But the only thing is that you have to handle with care because okay. when you damage. Please, okay, yes. okay. So All right. Give them a hand on everybody. It, is it is interesting, sir, because uh, for someone like me, I read electrical electronics engineering, and I ended up being a photographer <laughs> and now a videographer. And I'm just wondering, for these guys are lucky; they're already starting it here and they are learning. You know, it's, it's yeah. amazing. Well, actually, uh, amazing, and that's the functions of the liberal arts education here at the American University of Nigeria. Okay. So our students that came to the university in the early stage, um, they're exposed to um, uh, all courses. Okay. So um, if you are a science student, I mean, and uh, uh, software engineer students, yeah, uh, you can go uh, courses in communications, and multimedia design, courses okay. in business uh, administration, okay. and so so forth. So to make you an all round there. Okay. And then it is the only university in Nigeria I can say yeah. that will admit undecided students. 
undecided students. So when you come here, by the time you touch a lot of things, you decide where you want to go. Where you want to go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think that is one thing I noticed with traditional universities. They don't allow you shifts easily. Yeah. When you come in to study, say, uh, economics, and you yeah. later feel you want to go to maybe art, they, they don't want to let you go. Yeah. You stay put where you are. <laughs> but this is a good, this yeah. good one. Yeah. The university is not trying to train students to be um, l job seekers. Yeah, and we train students here. Yeah, the university is doing what all what it could to train students to become job creators. Okay. So you think why you have a passion and then move it. So if you have a passion for something, then you'll be successful in it. This is the Hello. The, uh, Hi. the Radio. radio oh, okay. studio. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, my name is Amir Paramasi. Okay. I'm a CMD major, that is Communication and Multimedia Design okay. here at the UN. Okay. I'm in my fourth year. Wow, you're almost done. Almost done, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm taking my internship this semester with the Multimedia and Graphic Design. Oh, okay. So, uh, if I may ask, you've been here for four years now, you said, right? Four years. Okay, so what will you say to people who are considering that like, maybe coming to this school and they're like half and half or maybe their parents are saying oh that Adama is in the far north and all the stuff what would you say to people like that at first i had the same issue okay the same thought okay. the security and all that okay but actually it's a safe school okay i'll be best faculty wow here yeah, in nigeria one of the best faculties in nigeria okay, okay. and i'll show you um to be a great experience all right. Thank you very much for talking with us. I hope when you leave here, where you where you got, you stay in Adama or when you leave here, where you, where you stay is it Lagos? Uh, no, Abuja. Abuja. I right, will come to Abuja. I stay in Abuja too. Maybe we'll, we'll get to meet there. Okay. I'm, I'm big wheels. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice to meet you. She's in charge of the writing center. Many students are coming to this university with their writing ability not quite strong yeah so she have to make sure that all our students were able to you know polished and they can write with precision so, and so, so can i give, can i then ask a question that just dropped in my head now so if one is coming what are the criteria that one needs to uh, get before you can apply or become a student here have you yes yes criteria you yeah. mean the basic like the basic qualifications and yes you, you know, talked about writing so it's okay, okay, no, so, writing. Yeah, no, so. No, because you know the liberal aspect is okay. writing intensive as well so oh, okay. every course here at AUN yeah. there's a written component wow for every course, whether it's math, it's chemistry, whatever, okay. you must write something. Okay. Develop it into an essay form where okay. applicable, okay. but you should be able to express yourself. You know, the the goal really is yeah. to ensure that they can communicate effectively, okay. meaningfully, okay. not just on paper but also orally. Okay. You know, and that comes in with organizing the ideas in a meaningful way. Okay. So that whatever it is you have to explain. Yeah best if it's you're even using your words, not okay. necessarily what the instructor said. Okay. You know, it shows that you know the process yeah, okay. you know has taken place and that you can comfortably anywhere express yourself. So we don't write for them. Yes it's yeah. mentioned sure the writing yeah. center because yeah. sometimes okay. you know um, people think you know we do the writing for them. No no no, no. I, I didn't mean that. I, I meant okay. I, I know you don't do that. Nobody yeah, does just that. Guide them yeah. to help them identify okay. you know what the expectations are for okay. academic writing. Okay. They've been writing. Yeah. They took job. Yeah. They, 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 they wrote Wayak. Yeah, They've been Nekko, writing yeah. different things, but okay. just that when they come here, we just help them, you know, to understand that academic writing, college writing, yeah. you know, that certain things you have to be intentional about. Okay. That's just it. All right. Intentional writing for different courses, and then obviously discipline specific terminology and all that research, citations, you name it. Okay. So we start early so that by the time they graduate. You'd be amazed, yes. All right. And some write papers with the faculty. Wow. And are published. Oh. And communication celebrates them as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. And Emilia, by the way. Okay, I'm big wheels, ma'am. Nice okay. to meet you, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. you. All right. All right. Well, actually, this is the office of the president of the university. Oh, okay. He's a camp person that uh, loves Nigeria, yeah. um, Nigerians. I would have been nice to meet the <laughs> president, I swear. Yeah. Well, actually, this is what unites Nigeria. Um, okay. In the recent, yeah, that's yeah. the football. Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> 1996 gold medal team, first African team in history to win there. Wow.
and, and actually, yes. you see, um, yes. this art um, okay. depicts what Nigeria is. Okay. Um, a different culture, the houses, the Yorubas, the Fulanis, the Ibos. Oh. So this is a few, few collections. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. there is one point in the, the in the library um, okay. that is the the Atiku Center for the for yeah. I mean, yeah. Institute for Development. Okay. Uh, this is um, what actually the only thing about the only thing the founder agreed that his okay. his name will be. Part of it. Oh, yeah, okay. Put in. Okay. Yeah. Center uh, for Leadership, Entrepreneurship, uh, yeah. and so Development. We, 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 we currently you know, renamed it as uh, Atik Institute for Development. Okay. So basically, the American University of Nigeria is a development university. Okay. So by a development university, it means that um, it will go and look at the cre key critical problems in the community and try to address the problems. It is trying to address the problems of Nigeria and uh, problems of Africa. Okay. That is the essence of the university, as a development university. Mm -hmm. So every single student of this university must go to for community service. Okay. So and um, uh, it is not actually we throw them away and say, okay, go to the community. And then, so we have we have a deliberate effort. Okay. We have what we call community development courses. Uh, now all the students will be introduced to community service development courses, and then they, I, we move them into the uh, into the community, and then for them to look at the community, to see the problems that exist in the community, you know, and also come back into the classroom and then to look at if there is any literature or any theory that is available to address those problems that they have observed outside the classroom and then find a solutions to it. Um, we are training them, training them to become the future leaders of Nigeria and of Africa. AUN is where students' dreams become Africa's future. So we didn't expect that after graduating from this university and uh, I mean, a student's opportunity to be the president of this country or a governor of his own state and then be asking what is the problem. He is already very much intimated with what the problems are okay. in the community. So this center, when they discovered that the size of the problem um, is, is not quite big, they will come down to the institute and then um, uh, explain what are the major challenges and then how, I mean this is their proposed solutions and it may cost this amount of money. Okay. Then the center would be responsible for writing and seeking for grants that will help in addressing oh, those problems. Oh, okay. So um, in the past we have addressed a lot of problems in this university. During the, the, the Boko Haram crisis, um, that is the peak whereby the Institute have played a very, very significant role in trying to address the problems. And when Mubi and the northern part of Adamawa mm -hmm. exploded into, into the Yola, mm -hmm. so uh, the IDPs, the influx of IDPs are very, very much. And the uh, government has set up um, IDP camps. But and the university also understands that um, the workings of uh, Nigerians, and most of us, uh, um, uh, you feel that, uh, you know, being in the ID camp, uh, you have uh, your friends and family, you prefer to be with your friends and families rather than uh, the IDB camp. So um, houses are, you know, inflated today, bring, and then uh, it makes things very, very difficult. And then the university sets in. At that time, it is uh, feeding almost 147,000, you know, uh, internally displaced persons. Wow. So um, we have done a lot. Um, so that is what this institute is doing. You know, trying to see that um, all things that has to do with social challenges that is facing uh, Nigerian and African uh, addressed. Okay. So uh, that is um, uh, what the university is all about. All right, sir. Yes. What are the school fees like, sir? Uh, it is uh, very difficult for me to say, all right. Uh, okay. Because it, it depends on what you want. Okay. Um, uh, we have um, a minimum. Okay. Um, uh, students that are choose to have only 15 credit hours uh, per semester. Oh. And then okay. uh, you can have an up to 21 credit units per semester. So it differs. Oh, so you can choose the credit hours you want. To yes. Have. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Because actually, so pack, yeah. yeah. Okay. You, we are trying to say that you yeah. study and learn at your pace. At okay. your pace. Okay. Yeah. Um, you are choice of uh, your feeding plan. Okay. And then. Uh, 
uh, apart from your feeding plan, your choice of uh, accommodations will also determine okay. what you're going to pay. And there are okay. actually three students into a room okay. with and without facilities, and also two students into a room with and without facilities. Okay, meaning there's no bathroom inside. Yes. Okay, you have to use the general one. Or yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, well, okay. All those, all those, one add up to become the cost of yes. what the student pays. Yes. Well. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you choose to. Okay. So all these are the residents. Yeah. All these are residents. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, they have a place where you can sit outside with a canopy, which is nice. This is a Lamido Ali Mustafa commencement hall. Okay. So it's a graduation hall and uh, it's the capacity of uh, accommodating up to 3,500 guests at a time. Wow. So it doubles up also as an uh, indoor games. Okay. So, uh, in uh, a situation whereby uh, uh, the, the major event is normally twice a year. Okay. That is uh, the the graduation ceremony, which is we call okay. the commencement ceremony. Yeah. And also uh, the Founders' Day. So, um, and uh, during the quiet period, as you can see, the place has been converted into and uh, sports. Yeah. All right. For indoor games, they have basketball court. Oh, yeah. They have uh, volleyball court, tennis court. Mm -hmm. All in one. And then you have a uh, ping pong. Ten uh, ping yeah. Pong tennis. Oh, making a difference, inspiring our world. Also, this uh, and we have a, a gym. A gym. Oh, yeah. okay. For students. Yeah. It's not. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's past one. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, it's past one. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And today is a Friday, so yeah, getting ready for mosque. All right. Well, Yusuf, thank you for taking us around. Yeah. For showing us. Uh, really appreciate it. The university. Yeah. I know uh, a few years ago I, I was at the guest house, the university. Uh, the university, uh, uh, yeah, the AUN, AUN Hotel. AUN Hotel. And I made a video then about the place, how beautiful oh, the place was. Interesting, you know? interesting. Yeah. And today I'm lucky to be here to oh, show yeah. you this place we, too. We, we are, we're so glad that um, <laughs> you decided to come to our small smart campus, uh, <laughs> the campus of the American University of Nigeria. And one interesting thing is that the campus is smart. So because yeah. wherever you are, you have access to wireless internet and connectivity so yeah I like that it's one of the fastest in the country <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Told me so, so. Yeah. and uh, that is uh, to give our students all the opportunity that they wanted to to succeed and okay. uh, apart from that um, um, we are trying in as much as possible to do with our students to encourage them yeah. whatever they do yeah. is a product of their own thinking. Um, okay. uh, plagiarism is not tolerated here. Okay. Um, every, any single assignment yeah. that you write, and when you're submitting, you turn it through the turn it in. Okay. Uh, turn it in, okay. so that um, it will check for plagiarism okay. and before it passes to the, wow. to the faculty. Okay. So that um, we groom on um, the next generation of leaders yeah. who you can trust, who can uh, you know, um, exhibit their talents, creativity, and ingenuity. And, um, uh, apart from that, we provided them a lot of opportunities here. Um, our students, uh, do, though the goal of the university is not to train the students to look for jobs, okay. uh, train the students to be job creators. Right. Uh, but then um, uh, sometimes uh, you find out that after graduation, you end up somebody may want to work. And then they say, oh, you need to have uh, your work experience. Yeah. So how many working experience are? For heaven's sake, I'm just graduating from a university. Yeah. So what we do here at the university is that we have what we call work study. 
Okay. So as a student, you can, if you have a, a good st uh, academic standing, mm. you can look for a job uh, to the university. Okay. And then you will be hired in any okay. department. Okay. So um, uh, assuming that uh, a student uh, is studying communications and multimedia design, okay. and he wanted to have uh, working experience, he can go to the communications office here. Mm. I have time from so, 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 okay. so, um, and, and I wanted to work. Mm. So if we need that, uh, then we hire that person Okay. So um, we give a token of uh, just two dollars an hour. Okay. I mean, and but that is not uh, uh, the wage. I mean, the amount of uh, we given them is not something that uh, is fundamental. But what okay. is fundamental is they having a uh, working experience. Okay. All right. So after graduation, they say you need working experience. Yeah, it is. And also, uh, as uh, we visit the career club, and mm. the, 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 um, what they do is that we are in partnership with a number of universities around the okay. world. So we have what we call work. I mean, um, study abroad. Okay. So, as a student here, after your second year. And if you wanted to spend like what, another semester in another university, mm -hmm. whether it is uh, American University in Sharjah, American University in Cairo, mm -hmm. American University uh, Washington DC, mm -hmm. Iowa State University, and any of their partner universities, mm -hmm. you can go and spend one semester there, wow. and then you come back. If you like, you can spend two semester, mm -hmm. and then and then come back, wow. and then complete your graduate to complete your graduation. <laughs> so um, the thing is that. Um, all is to provide you an opportunity to become a global citizen, to fit into the global space. So, and uh, we don't like to see our graduate at the end of the day um, carrying file and folder looking for jobs. <laughs> and uh, that is why we make a community, I mean, uh, a critical component that is uh, entrepreneurship education. It's a very, very critical component of this education. Um, the founder of this university has made it very clear that every single student students of the university must be an entrepreneur, must be trained to be an entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And he provided a seed capital of um, uh, $5,000. So and the students can make groups, okay. you know, make their presentations, perfect their business plan, mm -hmm. and then uh, there is a course specifically for that. Okay. And then uh, every student of this university must go through that course, okay. and then you form your groups. Uh, that group's called companies, okay. and then t five five thousand dollars will be given to each group for you to run a business for a semester. Wow! So whether it is on campus so or campus. off campus, and at the end of the day, mm. uh, your professor will assess whether you have run the business according to your business plan and make profit, or you did run the business not according to your mm. business plan and, really and make a profit, or you run okay. it according to the business plan, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, but unfortunately, you did not make a profit. Okay. This is to take away, the, I mean, to, imp, uh, to expose the student to the risk management of business. Okay. So at the end of the semester, then you return back the capital. Oh. So, but this is hands-on training okay. to ensure that if you graduate, you don't need to wait for someone to tell you, uh, I wanted to hire you. Okay. You need to create a job and to hire others. All right. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for this video. It's been a very nice one. and. Uh, we had fun going around the campus and we showed you all we could show you in this brief time. And uh, if you want, if you have any question, please I'll leave my link in the description so that you can get to me. I'll get to them if you need to get to Mal and Yusuf. And if there's another question, they'll be able to answer you there. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the very next one. Ciao.